Well, the drivers are strapped in and ready to go. It's time to get the command to fire engines from the one and only, the King, Richard Petty. Gentlemen, start your engines. And we are racing at Richmond. Christian Eck is out front. Ty Majeski slips back and loses his spot to Grant Enfinger. Nice break there by Christian Eckes, and I don't think, uh, I don't know if maybe Majeski wasn't quite ready for that break, Phil. Yeah, how about Taylor Gray going to make a three wide here inside? He's got his teammate, William Sawalich, in the middle, and Lane Riggs, the 38, in the outside, that yellow truck. How about Christian Eckes, his fourth time here at Richmond, first time he's ever led? Well, he's, he's led a lot this year, though. <laughs> That's right, but not here. He's marking him <laughs> off. Every single race this year, yes, he, he has. has. Led. He's been incredible. Welcome back to the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Racing from Richmond is right as we stepped aside to go to break. Ty Majeski took over the lead, and you did not miss it. The what truck is coming to life. It is. He's opened up over a second on Eckes right now. Lap after lap, if not the fastest, close to the fastest truck on the racetrack. Corey Himes currently. Seventh, just ahead of Daniel Dye there, you see Nick Sanchez. Listen to those guys just pedaling those things, trying to get them up off the corner. Caution is out here at Richmond Raceway for the first time where Matt Mills went hard into the outside turn three wall. He brings it down pit road. Right front. Yeah, without it, either broke something or cut down the right front. I think you're exactly right. I think he broke, I think he had a flat right front. Yeah. Looking into the outside wall. Solid run here a year ago, too. Top five for Mills, so this is disappointing. He was running right there with Connor Hall, and Connor Hall is in the 15th spot right there, so. Get these stage points and put that out of reach. And now he can do what he said. I'm going to go focus on winning this championship. Final lap is stage number one. Taylor Gray have enough time to reel in Christian Eckes to get this stage win. Half a second separates these two. Green and white checker in the air for Christian Eckes as he picks up stage win number one tonight. Here comes Corey Heim checking Ben Rhodes for tough. Slow and steady progress, does Corey Hine. Ooh, look at that crossover there. A nice run off the corner, took it to the bottom. Make it work. Ben Rhodes with the advantage on the outside, and I mentioned the Nashville Stampede on this truck. Beautiful looking truck, but how cool. It's a PBR, it's professional bull riders. It's a team, and they won the championship last year and decided they wanted to get on board the truck this time around. Doesn't the Dillons have a team? Yeah, they, they as do. Well. Yeah, Austin was saying today here in Richmond that, that he had gone to the bull riding yeah. last night. But how about this battle for the lead? Taylor Gray going to try to grab that lead on the, the inside. inside. Almost touched so close. Taylor Gray to the point. Grant what? Enfinger settles in behind. I think he had a little trouble with Garcia in the 13 truck. Yeah, what Jake's a, trying to stay on the lead lap, too. What, what a great job by Gray there. Though Not only did he enter that corner very shallow underneath Enfinger, he was able to keep it on the bottom and then pounce on Garcia, and he's driving away. What a performance for the young Gray. As a racer, you know how difficult it is to, to enter a corner like that and just survive. He prospered by Ooh. doing so. Practice going around. around. Caution comes out for the third time tonight. Does he touches the wall right at the end? I don't mess this truck up too badly. Looks like he just tried to dive in the corner. Maybe got loose on entry. Is that what you see, Bill? That's what it looks like. Trying to get inside of Honeycutt, I think. And uh, Joey keeps his truck away from Honeycutt. Yeah, Honeycutt gave him room. He had room down on the bottom. Just he probably had been working him for a number of laps and. Grant Enfinger, who pitted, got those fresh tires. Wasted no time taking the lead. Majeski trying to grab that. And here he comes, out spot. of turn four. Grant Enfinger wins stage two. Between E and the 43 of Daniel Dye. Man, Daniel took a chance there by squeezing down on Corey that hard, but both of them got away with it, and Corey wound up with a spot. Oh, they're wrecking behind him. Dean Thompson, the five-truck, goes around. 
Flex the 46, Thad Moffitt, the 88, and Matt Crafton involved. And he gets hit by Chase Purdy, and that knocks him into the back of Dean Thompson, and around Dean goes. Well, I don't know how some of these drivers missed that. Stefan did a really nice job in that 75 truck to avoid that. Matt Crafton sneaks through as well. Watch this mess back there. Right in front of those guys. See the 45 truck right there just oh. gets through. I don't think he got a scratch on him. Caden Honeycutt. Eight top tens. By the way, this is his home track. Grew up in Washington, D.C., not too far up the road. And the caution is out. Once again, Lawless Allen with trouble, but he gets it rolling. There's a replay of the most recent incident. There's a 33. Lawless Allen just misses the 88. He had the back tires fired up trying to keep it pointed in the right direction. Did a nice job of keeping it outside. Of I'm not sure he's going to green for now, but I don't think if he stays on the racetrack, he's not going to make it around unless he makes the hard left-hand turn here when he gets to the end of the road. Will he make it? Here comes the leaders. They're going to stay green. He'll stay on the bottom. And now the caution waves. Seventh time tonight. Gave him every chance to get that thing fired up, but it didn't happen for Connor. He just needed to make it right there to take the left onto pit road, but obviously there he is. There he is, diving yeah. down. Must have been something we couldn't see because he was down there, but probably started there a little bit prematurely. Yeah, you have to stay in line till you get past the start-finish line. Yeah, much like the situation with Corey Heim, a little bit pressure tires pitted on that same lap. Probably going to be able to be enough as Corey Heim is going for the lead. To the inside, he gets it done. And Finger fights back, but nope. Corey Heim will take the lead for the first time tonight. Caution is out for the eighth time. Stuart Friesen was slowing on the racetrack just as he was trying to make his way down pit road. Oh, Stefan. Like Stefan and the 45 of Honeycutt get together. Don't know if maybe they got down on the corner side by side. And the third at North Wilkesboro, Lane Riggs, best career finish earlier this year. These guys are fighting these trucks. Oh. Wrecking. Connor Zilich goes around. Ninth caution of the night. Connor Zilich on the outside, but they were already together, and I think Zilich that, was dead sideways. I think that was loose in for Holmes, and that's just what slid him up into Zilich and yeah. around he went. There's another view of it. Was there a little contact maybe from the 77, possible just a nudge? From, maybe a nudge it from the like. 77. You could see once Christian used up Grant a bit, he's been able to drive away from him, so get a little desperate late in the going. That's what Lane Rick is trying to do now, but look where Gray's going to the bottom. Grant's been able to make some good time on that outside, coming down for the white flag. Are they going to go three wide? Sees the white flag right there. They're still beating and banging off each other back there for third. Jeske wanted to see that white flag. He's looking in his mirror and thinking all those craziness going on. No more cautions, please, as Joe Shear said. Ty Majeski just dominated this race a year ago. Saw the win in sight only to lose it. He makes his way around this racetrack. Checker flag in the air. Ty Majeski makes it two in a row and wins the season finale. Hell of a job, buddy. Hell of a job. It's beautiful Polish victory lap. There's his crew. They're just going to have a party right there on the front stretch. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.